Bhagavad Gita, verse 2.52 When your intelligence has completely crossed beyond the dense forest of illusion, you will become indifferent to all that has been heard and all that is to be heard. Sar Ardavarshini Sri Bhagavan is speaking this verse beginning with Yada to explain that one becomes situated in yoga by the practice of selflessly offering the fruits of one's action to the Supreme Lord. This is called Nishkama Karma Yoga. When your heart completely transcends the deep forest of delusion, you will become indifferent to all the topics that have already been heard and the various topics that are fit to be heard. A person may raise the question, I have already become free from doubt, and I no longer am faulty of an adverse attitude. So what need is there for me to hear the instructions of the scriptures? Bhagavan would then respond, Even so, at present, it is appropriate for you to practice at every moment the process I have explained. Sar Ardavarshini Prakashikariti The Jivas are attached to this world because of their identification with the body. This is the root cause of material existence. As long as this material attachment remains, the Jeev Atma cannot attain knowledge of the Absolute Truth, nor can he become detached from the material world. Nirveda means detachment from the material world. It is not an easy achievement. Through the practice of selflessly offering the fruits of one's work to Bhagavan, one gradually becomes free from the false conception that the body is the self. One then achieves nirveda, detachment, from all the types of activities one has heard about or will hear about and which originate from material desires described in the scriptures. Eventually, he engages in exclusive devotion to the Lord. This instruction is also in the Vedas. Pariksha lokan karma chitan brahmano nirvedam ayannasti akritaha kritena Mundaka Upanishad 1.2.12 a Brahmana, who knows the Absolute Truth, attains detachment upon understanding that the happiness and pleasure one attains by karma in this world or the next are temporary and distressful. Prahlad Maharaj has given a similar instruction. Adi Antavanta Urugaya Vidantihi Tvam Evam Vimrishya Sudhiyo Viramanti Shabdat Srimad Bhagavatam 7.9.49 O Urukrama, one who performs wondrous activities, those who, by discrimination, realize that all objects have a beginning and an end, give up the study of the Vedas and exclusively engage in bhajan to you.